This week on Canada in the Rough, we're hunting caribou in Nunavut. The Central Barren Ground caribou herd is estimated to be 400,000 to 500,000 strong. These large numbers of caribou, along with the stark beauty of the tundra and some of the best fishing found in North America, bring people from all across the world to hunt in Nunavut. And this week, Kevin Beasley is doing just that as he travels to Nunavut to hunt caribou with Hennick Lake Adventures. Kevin will be archery hunting as he tries to get in close to some giant Nunavut caribou. But with many eyes watching and very little cover to conceal himself with, it won't be easy for Kevin to get into bow range. Join us for a very exciting Nunavut hunting adventure this week on Canada in the Rough. Kevin started his multi-day travel to Hennick Lake Adventures Caribou Camp, which is located just north of Manitoba in the territory of Nunavut. Kevin is headed to their main base camp, but Hennick Lake Adventures also offers five different remote hunt camps in a 30,000 square mile territory. Well, we just arrived in Nunavut. After a couple of short flights this morning, we're now at base camp. We grabbed the bull, took a few shots, and she's dialed in. We're not able to hunt today, but uh, we're gonna get out tomorrow morning, first thing, have a nice hearty breakfast, and then head out hunting after some caribou. It's gonna be exciting. Good start to our day, Jason. First spot we stop, we see a couple going across the ridge, and we sneak into, that was no more than 70 yards right there, that calf came in on us. And then we got them right here playing behind us. <laughs> Let's find the daddy though, or the granddaddy. I started off probably hunting and traveling with my parents right when I was a little baby on their backs. And throughout my whole life, I'd spend with my dad, I'd fill around the age of 14, 13, then I started going on my own at that age and spending the nights on my own out in the land, trapping and fishing and hunting, that sort of thing, up to today. The reason we hunt caribou quite often in the fall time is we'll use the hide 
We'll use all the meat pretty much, even the hoofs. You boil them up with the bones, some meat, and you, you get all that cartilage you know, that all turns to soft much, and that's very good for this, um, the soup or like a broth. You know, it's very nutritious. There's a lot of nutri nutrition in there. You know you're getting the fresh meat. Your family knows you're getting the fresh meat. They know who caught it, where it came from. You feel a sense of accomplishment for providing for your family. A lot of this is from my experience, what I learned from my dad. It doesn't go for all Inuit. A lot of it is not written down. It's passed down from father to son. Some people get the misunderstanding that we're stuck between two worlds. I would say that's not true. We're making the best of both worlds. Caribou crossing. That's awesome. Look at it shaking. Is it a bachelor group of small bulls? That's what it looks like. It does, that's what I thought it was like. There's a bunch of them. That last bull looked pretty nice. Hard to tell how big he is though. Is we're sneaking over there, Jason, or what are you thinking? I think they're gonna come right down to the shoreline right here, to the left of us. Do you wanna move up there? Get a better look? Yeah. We're gonna go back, Jason wants to go back, have, have lunch, and uh, let them work their way over that hill. We're gonna take a look at them from the boat, see how, what a game plan we can get in, and uh, try to go back after them. Close though, that was a close encounter. It's a ton of caribou. Oh yeah, a lot of caribou. What do you think, once they get out of sight, just go at them? Yeah. That's what I think, too. We're just gonna wait for them to work their way over that ridge, and then we'll go straight at them so we know nothing can see us. We've got a cow over here, but she'll spook that way, so this is a good opportunity to get at them. Wow, 
there are caribou everywhere. They're scattered everywhere. Well, this is almost impossible with this many animals, eh? Very tough. Wow, Jason, that was amazing. Watching all of them run back and forth, and just with this many numbers, didn't really allow us to get in within bull range of them, eh? No, not quite. It's a little bit easier when they, they're, they're a single one or two of them by themselves along a tree edge. It gives you something to walk behind, but there was no real cover here for us either. It's all open right here. Yeah. We've got a tree right here. That's <laughs> one little tree. <laughs> but you know what? Some beautiful bulls in there that we we'll would love to take, but uh, just didn't work out for us today. So maybe we'll be back again at them another time. Healthy herd. Healthy animal, very healthy. Jason, there's a white spot over there. It looks like a caribou. Looks like a rump. Oh, there's a few of them, Jason. There's a few of them there. A bunch of them there. There's more bedded to the right. Oh, there's some bedded to the right. Off to the left oh, there. My... Oh, yeah, some bulls over there in the left. Oh, we gotta, get a, we gotta get a closer look at them, Jason. Yeah. What do you think? Work to the tree line? Yeah. Let's just work to the tree line. We'll still be side window. Okay. I think they're gonna come right to us. Right. We'll start moving. Let's just stay together. They're probably gonna hug right through here or right through the shore if they go this way. Okay. And if not, we're gonna go to this other spot where we see another caribou. So I took a look okay. there and, and there's some thick um, alders through there yeah. that I can't really see. So I said we drop leave our bags right here. We'll just crease this corner and uh, we'll go have a look. Jason, there's one, there's one of them there. Got him. He's gonna go down, he's going down. Down, Jason! That was awesome, thank, thank, you, thank you so much. It's a nice bowl. <laughs> Wasn't that exciting yeah. though? No, we, we, from a mile over there, we seen a, a giant over there that we seen the tops on him, so we, we decided to come after him. But then when we got over here, there was like a herd of 15, and then you spotted three bulls working their way over into this corner. So we had a tree line that worked perfect. We get right up here, and the yeah, three, nice the three of them are right, right here, right? Those two were nice, eh? Nice. They were hard to decide which one, but yeah. we made it happen. Let's go have a look, man. Yep. He was right in this hole right here. Oh yeah, look at the blood. Blood's up. 
Blood's already started. We'll see if we can find my arrow though. Oh, there's my arrow right there. Right in the water, Jason, when he went over this way. You're perfect. Look at that. The broadhead's still in great shape. <laughs> there he is. Oh my goodness. Look at him, Jason. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that beautiful caribou, Jason. Get around here. Oh, look how high his tops are, eh? Big and long and full full velvet. That is a beautiful oh, velvet. Got the scratches on both sides, oh. as is always good. Jason, I can't thank you enough, man. Thank you so much. That was a true pleasure to be able to put that stock on him and then to be able to watch him go down like he did. That was awesome. Let's get the tag on him. We'll pull him up and we'll get some pictures. Yeah, right. All on. right, thanks again, Jason. Thanks yeah. for everything. Congratulations again. Thank you. Nice bowl. We try to utilize pretty much the whole animal because back in the old days, that was the only thing. You know, there was no modern convenience, there was no money, and all the nutrients we needed came from pretty much the animal. And then we used a lot of the organs, the liver, the heart, the kidneys, that all edible. Even the stomach, the stomach lining. You, you take something from the land, you take care of it, you treat it right, it treats you back with food, and you don't over harvest the animals. And, it will always, always be there for generations. What a great time this has been in Nunavut. It really is one of my favorite places to come to because of its beauty, the hunting, but also it is such a great learning opportunity to spend time with these people and to learn of their culture and their traditions and to see the wonderful respect that they have for the animals and how they use them in the fullest. If you ever get a chance to hunt Central Bearing Ground Caribou, you gotta do it in Nunavut. I'm your host, Kevin Beasley from Canada the Rough. Enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of your hunting heritage. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this video. For more great videos and content, please subscribe to our page and let us know in the comments what you'd like to see. And to follow our amazing adventures around Canada, please join us on Facebook and Instagram.